Nelson Mandela had three marriages throughout his life, with his first two marriages ending due to political pressures. His third marriage to the widow of Mozambique's last president, Gresham Marshall, was successful. Mandela's first wife, Evelyn Wase, was a quiet country girl who stayed away from politics. They met through their connection to Walter Sisulu, a leader in the African National Congress. Evelyn focused on being a cheerful housewife while Mandela dedicated himself to political and legal work. Evelyn became increasingly religious and resented Mandela's absence. When Mandela was imprisoned for treason, she left him, taking their two youngest children with her. She eventually remarried and moved back to Trans K. Two years after his divorce from Evelyn, Mandela married Winnie. They had two children together before Mandela's imprisonment. Winnie first did her own struggles, enduring periods of imprisonment and harassment from law enforcement officials. Despite her controversial actions and association with the Mandela United Football Club, Mandela stood by her side. However, their relationship deteriorated and they separated in 1992. Winnie's six-year sentence for kidnapping was reduced on appeal, and Mandela appointed her as a deputy minister in his administration. However, she was later removed from insubordination. During this time, Mandela met Gresha Marshall, a woman 27 years old, his junior, who had been the wife of Samora Marshall, the former president of Mozambique. They began a relationship, and after her husband's death, and Mandela expressed his love, and gratitude for her support. Michelle promised never to marry another president, but she broke the promise and married Mandela on his 80th birthday. Mandela, although proud of his wife, sometimes struggled to keep up with her energy and remarked that, she, that he regretted not marrying a more passive partner. Overall, Mandela's marriages reflected his personal and political journey, with each wife playing a different role in his life.